What's up? My name's Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in this quick video, I'll be showing you a very simple fix for an issue on the good old games or GOG launcher. Simply opening up GOG Galaxy, we have this screen over here. If I were to head across to installed or possibly owned games and click in a game here, you might see something like this. I'm unable to install as it says Steam is not connected. I bought Cyberpunk 2077 on Steam and I have it installed and I launch it through there. But because I bought it on Steam, I have it on good old games as well, linked to my account. However, as you can see, I'm unable to download it and installing it using the GOG launcher. If you see something like this, you can go ahead and download games through your Steam account and launch them through there. But if you'd like to use the GOG launcher instead of Steam or any other platform like that, what we have to do is go ahead and link our Steam account with our good old games account. Simply click the settings icon in the very top left of this window and then head down to settings. Inside of here, we'll make sure we're on the integrations tab right under platforms. Now we can go ahead and start linking accounts. I'll link my Steam account by clicking connect next to Steam. After it downloads and starts the module, all we have to do is have a look at exactly what this gives us, then we can click connect. From here, we'll be entering our username and password. If you have two-factor enabled, which you really should, you'll see a pop-up like this. Simply enter your two-factor code, click continue, and it'll disappear. Now it simply says connecting, and eventually it'll connect, giving you a disconnect button instead. If we close out of the integration screen, you can now see games, gog.com, as well as Steam. Great, now that we're linked properly, we can click on Cyberpunk once again, and the play button is now available. After clicking play, if you bought it through Steam and it has the Steam icon, it'll go ahead and launch Steam as well as the game. Unfortunately, if you bought it on Steam, it'll have to be launched this way. From there, the game will start up exactly as you expect, and you'll be able to play it. Of course, if at some stage you'd like to unlink your Steam account and good old games account, simply click the settings icon in the top left, head back to settings, integrations once again, and you can disconnect your account here. Note that we also unlock the features section here. As you can see, Steam settings, we can close the Steam client when closing Steam games, and we can choose whether we'd like to import metadata for our games. Clicking import and OK, you can see it's now importing data from Steam and our own games is slowly filling up. If we click it, you can see that slowly including every single game from our Steam library. Now I own 2000 plus games, so it's got quite a bit of loading to do to link everything with my GOG launcher that I have on Steam. This will take a hot minute to run through and you'll see what it looks like when it's done. Of course, I don't expect this launcher to be too well optimized for tens of thousands of games as it's going to be loading a hell of a lot of images compared to the amount that Steam loads. And once it finishes, all of your games on Steam will be shown here. As you can see, with 1,700 games, it's rather laggy. So of course, you'd probably use this for much smaller inventories or at least expand the filter and make sure that the status at the bottom has installed checked, so only the installed games show. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. It doesn't want to close now. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.